Today's lesson is India's moon landing makes space history. Hi, everybody. I'm Roger. Hello, I'm Kiki. And today we're going to start off the new year by talking about a big success with the Indian Space Agency. They actually landed a lander on the moon, real close to the south pole of the moon. And it's quite successful, and it has made space history. We congratulate them sincerely. That's right. They were able to beat a lot of space agencies to becoming the first to land on the south pole of the moon. So this was very impressive, and it really took a lot of people by surprise. Indeed, this happened last August, and of course the Russians tried to land something on the moon at that time, but they failed. But the Indians succeeded, so we're going to talk about their success in today's lesson. Let's listen to the first part, and we'll be right back to talk about it. India's moon landing makes space history. On August 23, 2023, India earned its place in the history of space exploration by becoming the first country to successfully land a spacecraft near the moon's south pole, and only the fourth to make a soft landing on the lunar surface. In addition, the mission cost only around $75 million, making it substantially cheaper than past lunar missions undertaken by the U.S., Russia, and China. Larry's advice substantially helped our team in finishing the research. Anna's proposal has substantially brought benefits to the company. Lisa will undertake several projects in the next year. Lisa 将在明年着手进行多项专案。又或者说 ，None of these soldiers wants to undertake this mission because it is too dangerous. 没有士兵想接手这个任务，因为实在是太危险了。So again, we're talking about India's moon landing, and it has made space history. It's a first for India, and it's a first for people trying to land a spacecraft on the moon at the South Pole specifically. And here in the first paragraph, it says on August twenty third, twenty twenty three, which was last year. Now, India earned its place in the history of space exploration. By becoming the first country to successfully land a spacecraft near the moon's south pole, and only the fourth to make a soft landing on the lunar surface, so they earned their place in the history of space exploration. Exploration is just the act of going to places. To learn more about them, to understand them, to see what they're all about. We're talking, of course, now about space exploration, but you could also talk about like ocean exploration. They're still exploring the bottom of the ocean, and now, of course, we're exploring space by going to the moon and maybe eventually Mars and beyond. And this mission was the first to be able to land their spacecraft near the moon's south pole. So this hasn't been done before. A lot of other space agencies have tried, and around the same time, Russia was trying to do the same thing. But India was able to do it first, and they are also the fourth agency to be able to make a soft landing on the moon's surface. In addition, the mission costs only around seventy-five million. So we know that space agencies they spend a lot of money on launches, and even just launching a spacecraft or satellites, they have to spend a lot of money. So seventy-five million dollars isn't a lot of money for space travel or sending things into space. 
which means that they are able to make it substantially cheaper than past lunar missions undertaken by the U.S., Russia, and China. So this seventy-five million dollar number means that they are able to do this lunar mission a lot cheaper. Substantially means to be very big or to have a considerable amount or worth. So. It was a lot cheaper. They spent a lot less money than previous lunar missions. Right, substantially here just means to a great amount or a significant extent. For example, I could say, Mr. Chen's English improved significantly or substantially when he moved to England. Okay, so in this particular case, this mission was substantially or significantly or greatly cheaper than other lunar missions that were undertaken by the U.S., Russia, and China. So here, undertaken is the past participle of the verb to undertake, which means Means you just perform something, you carry out this idea or this mission, and again, the U.S. We all know landed spacecraft on the moon, different Apollo missions, for example. Russia landed、uh, crafts there as well, and China actually landed a lander on the far side of the moon, which was a first. But now India has beat everybody to the South Pole, and the South Pole, of course, is important because many scientists believe there is actually frozen. Frozen water inside those craters at the South Pole. We'll just have to wait and see what they find there. Okay, that brings us to the end of the first part of our lesson for today. Let's move on now to the second part. In 2009, India's first mission to the moon, Chandrayaan-1, succeeded in detecting signs of frozen water at the moon's South Pole. A primary objective of the current mission, Chandrayaan-3. Is to confirm the presence of this ice, which could potentially be used as a source of fuel and oxygen for a future moon base. Let's talk about the second part of today's article. In 2009, India's first mission to the moon, Chandrayaan-1. So the first time they attempted to go to the moon was this spacecraft called Chandrayaan, and they named it Number One because it's the first one. The spacecraft succeeded in detecting signs of frozen water at the moon's south pole. So, Roger, you mentioned that. There might be water at the frozen water at the moon's south pole, and at that point in 2009, the first spacecraft Chandrayaan one they did detect signs of frozen water. So that means that they have to find out if that is true or not. Right. So of course, it was a mission that was in orbit around the moon. It did not actually land on the surface of the moon. So they probably sent signals down there, and they indicated that there's water there. But to really make sure, you need to actually go there in person or with a landing craft or a rover to actually see if there's frozen water there in the first place. And yes, indeed, this was a mission that took place many years ago in 2009. And a primary objective of the current mission, Chandrayaan three, is to confirm the presence of this ice, which could potentially be used as a source of fuel and oxygen for a future moon base. So, of course, when you have a mission, you have an objective. Your objective is your goal. It's what you want to accomplish. So, this was the main objective of this mission, which is called Chandrayaan three, and they want to confirm the presence of this ice. They need to know whether the ice is there or not, because they're going to use it in the future if they build a moon base there. So, if they build a moon base there, this frozen Ice can actually become a source and use it as fuel and oxygen. So that means that if they had future moon missions or lunar missions, it's possible for astronauts to stay there longer and explore more. Because if they had this ice there, it would become a source or a place where they would be able to use the ice as fuel and oxygen. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Okay, that brings us to the end of the second part. Let's move on now to the third. Part we will listen first. After its launch on July 14, 2023, Chandrayaan-3 embarked on its journey to the moon. On August 17, the mission's lander initiated its descent to the lunar surface. 
successfully slowing down from over 6,000 kilometers per hour to almost zero, the lander executed a perfect landing. This achievement prompted the country's Prime Minister, Narendra Modi, to say, This is a victory cry of a new India. We are witnessing history. The launch of the rocket was spectacular. Everyone was stunned. 火箭的发射非常壮观。所有人都看得目瞪口呆。或是, the launch of the political campaign brought a revolution for freedom of speech. 该政治运动的发起为言论自由带来了革命。再来是片语, embark on 或是 upon something, 意思是开始进行点点点或是着手做点点点。例如, Billy embarked on planning his journey across America. Billy开始进行横跨美国旅行的计划。或是, after retiring from his law practice of 30 years, Jeff embarked upon a new career as a writer. Jeff自工作了30年的律师事务所退休之后,开始成为专职的作家。接着介绍动词 initiate,它是开始或是发起的意思。例如, The tax authorities initiated an investigation of the company. 税务局开始调查那家公司。或是, The military general initiated a ground assault on the enemy base. 那位将军向敌军基地发动地面袭击。下一个介绍 descent, 它是名词用来表示下降或是降落。我们可以说, The submarine lost contact after its descent into the deep sea. 该潜水艇在沉入深海后失去了联系。又或者说, Fortunately, the malfunctioned helicopter had a safe descent on the ground. 幸运的是, 那座故障的直升机最后安全降落在地面。最后看到单字 execute 这个动词的意思是执行、实施、完成，也可以是处决的意思。举例来说， the engineer clicked a button to execute this command. 该工程师点击一个按钮来执行这个指令。最后一个例子， the rebels executed several prisoners they were holding captive. 叛军处决了数名他们俘虏的囚犯。Okay, the third part begins by saying, After its launch on July 14, 2023, Chandrayaan-3 embarked on its journey to the moon. So this sentence here tells us when this mission was launched. That means a rocket begins its journey into space. It blasts off from a launch pad somewhere. And, of course, there's lots of fire, and it's really bright, and lots of people are there watching it, and they're cheering and having a good time. So here, launch can be a verb. The rocket was launched on July 14th. Or we could say the launch occurred on July 14th. Launch can be both a verb and a noun. So on July 14th, the Chandrayaan-3 embarked on its journey to the moon. It started its journey because it was launched into space and it started to travel heading to its destination, which was the moon. So embarked on is basically to start an adventure or to start something. So you can also go and embark on learning a new thing or embark on a new travel adventure. So basically it's to try to start something new. And this Chandrayaan-3 embarked on its journey and it started to travel to the moon. And on August 17, the mission's lander initiated its descent to the lunar surface. So on August 17th, it started to land. Initiated means it's starting to do something. It was initiating or starting its descent. Exactly. It began its descent to the lunar surface. Here, descent is the act of going down. If you're uh, taking a flight someplace, you'll often hear this announcement in the cabin. We have now begun our descent into Tokyo. So yes, you'll know the plane is going to land very soon. And the verb is to descend. So the lander started to go down to the surface 
surface of the moon. It descended to the lunar surface and then landed there shortly afterwards. And successfully slowing down from over 6,000 kilometers per hour to almost zero, the lander executed a perfect landing. So yes, indeed, this is the lander portion of the mission. I believe most of these missions to the moon come with an orbiter ship that stays in orbit around the moon, and then they send a lander down to the surface. That's what the Chinese did. They had an orbiter that could、uh, convey messages from the lander back to Earth because their lander landed on the far side of the moon. And I believe it's the same case with this Indian mission. They did send the lander down to the lunar surface, and it was going really fast. It was going over 6,000 kilometers per hour, but it slowed down to almost zero, and then executed a perfect landing. So they were able to land perfectly. They had a very good landing. When you execute something, it is to put a plan or order. Or an action into effect. So when you are executing a perfect landing, you're trying to land your spacecraft or even your airplane. You are trying to give it a good landing. And in this case, the Indian lander executed or it performed a perfect landing. They ensured that the lander landed on the moon's surface in 100% its form, so it can continue its mission and continue exploration. Exploration on the surface. It was successful. It landed on the moon, unlike the Russian mission, which I believe crashed into the surface of the moon. Their mission was a failure, but the one from India was a success, and it executed a perfect landing. I should mention here that execute in this particular context means to carry out or to do something. I could say, for example, the stockbroker executed a series of trades and made a lot of money on the stock market. But in this particular case, we're talking about performing a landing. Execute could also mean that you kill someone because of a crime they committed. I could say that the criminal was executed by firing squad for murdering a number of people. So here, of course, execute does not mean they're killing somebody. It means they're actually performing this landing, and it was successful. This achievement prompted the country's prime minister, Narendra Modi, to say, "This is a victory cry of a new India." We are witnessing history. So, for the country of India, this is a remarkable display of how their space agency can compete with the rest of the agencies around the world. Of course, we know most space agencies, everyone, they're working together. But of course, each space agency has their own tasks and their own goals. And in this case, it's also demonstrating that India's technology is up there. With these other powerful countries, and they are able to perform a task like landing on the south pole of the moon. So it's really changing India's history. Right. So this achievement prompted the prime minister to say something. If you're prompted to do something, you are encouraged to do something. You basically do this as the result of something else, and he made a statement. Yes, this is a victory cry of a new India. India, of course, is a new player in the space race, and of course, lots of people want to get to the moon and to Mars. Of course, we always hear about the competition between the U.S. and Russia or the U.S. and China. But hey, now we have a new player, and that's a good thing because hopefully we can all benefit by this and get more information about the water on the moon. And who knows? Someday we may all live on the moon together. Okay, that brings us to the end of our explanation. For today, here comes Hanny, our Chinese teacher. Hello, 各位同学，大家好，我是 Hanny。我们来看今天的文法重点。课文第三部分提到，月船三号在二零二三年七月十四日发射。展开了前往月球的旅程。那这个任务的登陆器在八月十七日开始降落到月球表面。好，文中它用到 initiate 这个动词来表达开始。那我们来学习它的字首字根。好，看到 i t 这个字根呢，它的意思就是 go， 表示走、行走或者是去。像 visit。
拜访或者是 orbit 轨道，它们带有 i t 这个字根。那么在 initiate 这个字当中呢，它的字首 i n 表示 in 或是 into 就有进入的意思。那么 i t 表示 go， 也就是走。a t e 是动词字尾，所以从字首字根来看呢，表面意思就是 go in 或者是 go into， 那就有进入啊、开始从事等等那种语义，所以应该可以联想到 initiate， 它表示开始或是发起。我们顺便补充几个有相同字根的单字。第一个是 exit， 它的字首 e x 表示向外，那么 i t 表示走 ，exit 它就有出口或是离开、退场的意思喽。好，那第二个补充的是 transit， 它的字首 t r a n s 表示贯穿 ，i t 表示走，那合在一起 transit 它就有过境啊、通过的意思，像 transit passenger 就可以表达过境旅客。好，那第三个补充的是 ambition。它的字首这个 a m b 或是 a m b i 这个部分呢，它有 around， 也就是周围啊，或是围绕的意思。那么字根 i t 表示走 ，i o n 则是名词字尾。好，那 ambition 这个字呢，原本在拉丁文的意思是四处游说来取得选票。我们可以用那种四处走动来游说，争取他人支持自己的目标理想。用这样的画面去联想说，说 ambition 它具有抱负、野心或是梦想的意思喽。好，另外文中它也用到 descent 这个名词来表达下降、降落。那么它的动词是 descend。我们来拆解它的字首字根。好，看到这个字首 d e， 它表示 down 向下。那么字根 send 这个部分表示攀爬。那往下爬，应该很容易联想到 descent， 它有下降啊、向下或是下来，还有那种沿着什么什么往下的意思哦。好，那也补充两个相同字根的单字，第一个是 ascend。它的字首 a 是来自 a d， 只是因为 a d 它碰到 s c 开头的字根被省略成 a 了。那么这个字首 a 在这边是做强调用，那么字根 send 是攀爬，所以 ascend 它有这种攀登、上升的意思。再来看到 transcend， 它的字首 trans 表示超出，那么字根 send 是攀爬。那么合在一起 ，transcend 它就有超越、胜过或是优于什么什么的意思喽。好，那以上是今天的重点整理，我们回顾今天的单字吧。Exploration, space exploration has led to some amazing discoveries about our universe. Substantially, the new advertising strategy has substantially increased our store's sales. Undertake, Lloyd decided to undertake the challenging task of climbing the mountain. Objective: Meredith's objective in the race was to beat her own fastest time. Launch: The rocket's launch was an event watched by people around the world. Initiate: Dora initiated a new chapter in her life when she moved to a new city. Execute: Melvin executed his talent show performance perfectly. Discussion starter starts now. Here's our discussion starter for today. The question is, what specific aspects of India's Chandrayaan three moon landing do you find most remarkable or impressive? I find the Chandrayaan three mission particularly remarkable because, at the same time, Russia was trying to do the same thing. They were also trying to land on the south pole of the moon. And when I heard that India had beat Russia and landed, it was very impressive. Well, one aspect of the Chandrayaan three mission that deserves special recognition is the fact that it came from India. Okay, oftentimes when people mention the word India, we think of India. Indian food, but we also think of poverty and things like that. And India seldom does very well in international sports and things like that. But、uh, this kind of puts them on the map with this successful mission. I think、uh, India will get a lot more respect that it deserves. Well, everyone, today's article has come to an end, and I sure hope you enjoy reading along with us. I am Kiki. I am Roger. See, See you, you next time. time.